Hi, it's Anika. Happy Monday. Um, jumping on because something uh, just happened that really just froze me. I've often said that being a mom and being a, a wife has really um, pushed me to go in hard after God because trying or being a wife and being a mom, um, you know, you just really see your frailties, you see your shortcomings, and you see that you really don't know it all and that you need the grace of God. And I feel like the Lord, these two roles have allowed me to see God in just a way that I have, um, that I didn't see him before, right? Um, so anyway, my kids are constantly um, <laughs> teaching me lessons. The Lord is constantly using my children and my husband to teach me lessons. And today, um, you know, was was one of those days. So um, we've had just a nasty bug go through our house. And it's been around for like the last three to four weeks. And it started with my husband. And I mean, it just totally wiped him out. And it trickled down to um, some of the children. And I have been the only one that hasn't really been impacted by this thing. Me and two, two of the other children. So... Um, you know, we, we prayed, we rebuked the devil, we rebuked the spirit of infirmity, and it just seems like it's just kind of lingering. And I'm exhausted, just honestly, I'm just so exhausted because I've been kind of the main caretaker for everyone that's been sick. So today, two of the children ended up staying at home, and um, one of them was a bit suspect. But I don't know if she was as sick as she claimed to be, but anyway, that's a whole nother story. So when the other children came home from school, um, my daughter, who was just like laid out on the couch and, you know, she was, oh, my, my head is hurting me. And I'm, I'm just tired. I was just really tired. And, you know, she's just going on and on and on. So out of habit, I said, okay, everybody, stretch your hands towards Naomi and we're going to pray. And my nine-year-old, let me rephrase that, my very blunt nine-year-old Hannah then says, I don't even know why we're doing this because it's probably not even going to work because no one really means what they're doing. And I was like trying to come up with a rebuttal and I couldn't because I realized that she was telling the truth. I was not sincere in the moment. Now you all know I am passionate about prayer um, and I believe prayer works. But today I was just so tired and I was doing it. Um, not out of sincerity. It was just more like, okay, this is the routine thing to do. And not that, you know, having prayer as a part of your routine, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but we want to make sure that even in it, in it being a part of the routine, that it's something that's done um, with sincerity, right? Because when we do it in sincerity, that shows that we have the faith to believe that God is going to hear and answer our request, right? Um, and I wasn't praying in sincerity. It was just like, okay, I know this is what I'm supposed to do, but I'm so irritated. I'm so annoyed. Let me just go through the formalities. And my nine-year-old was able to discern that, listen, we might as well not pray because ain't nobody really serious about this, right? And it was just like, okay, regroup. And I did end up praying. And in the process, I you know, was just asking the Lord to help me to be um, sincere, help me to not make this just a routine thing and empty it of its power, right? Because there is power in prayer, but we have to make sure that we're praying sincerely, not just, you you know, offering up just like, eh, whatever, God, you know, okay, let me just do this, but I don't really mean it. Um, but to truly sincerely mean what we're praying. So I just want to encourage you today. Most of us will say that we have a prayer life or that we pray. But the question is, when we pray, are we doing it because we know that this is what we're supposed to do, but we're not truly connected to what we're saying. It's just a matter of going through the motions. There's uh, a, a big difference, right? With, um, praying as a part of our routine and just sincerely just being connected um, to God as opposed to just, okay, I'm doing this, um, but it's just a formality. It's not um, something that I sincerely want to do. So I hope this makes sense. I just really wanted to jump on um, to share this because I thought, oh, wow, Anika, you know, be careful because your children are watching you and I'm trying to... Um, 
you know, just give them a, a great example and, and be authentic in my walk with Christ. And um, some of that in, in terms of being authentic is I have to be willing to take correction even when it comes from a nine-year-old, right? And she wasn't being disrespectful. She just called it for what it was and she was absolutely right. So again, I can tell I'm getting off into the realm of rambling, so I'm going to end there, but I hope you find some encouragement in what I have said. You be blessed.